simple payback period in short spp is simplest technique used for analyzing a proposal it measures the time required for an investment to recover itself it is the ratio of capital cost to the annual net saving capital cost is initial investment in project which may be new machinery equipments or improvement in process and the annual saving is annual benefit minus annual cost of complete operation of the project spp is expressed in terms of years it indicates that how much years will be required to recover initial cost after that the project will be profitable until its life a smaller spp signifies that the investment is attractive over other but payback period is not the only criteria of judgment consider an example of installing a waste heat recovery equipment which saves 14 lakhs rupees yearly the initial cost is 60 lakhs and operation cost of equipment is 2 lakhs then yearly saving will be 14 lakhs minus 2 lakhs equal to 12 lakhs hence spp is equal to 60 lakhs divided by 12 lakhs per year which is equal to 5 years consider another example a 100 kilowatt solar power plant of initial cost 60 lakhs saves 10 lakhs of electricity bill per year with operation cost of 4 lakhs per year then spp will be 60 lakhs divided by 10 minus 4 which is equal to 10 years advantages spp is simple it does not require complex calculations it is attractive for the projects which benefits high cash flows in earlier years of investment limitations it does not consider time value of money it does not account cash flows after the payback period if a project benefit higher in earlier years after the investment and very less in latter years it looks good in spp or a better project which gives higher benefits in latter years of investment which gives wrong indication and this is limitation of spp that's it thank you also watch next video on return on investment stay updated